Hey, what's up guys? This is Ken with another tutorial for you. Today we are looking at find and replace in Excel. But not the typical way of find and replace uh, because with this you can only do one value at a time, one replacement at a time. So instead of going that direction, we want to be able to replace all the values we want in our document in one single run. So this is pretty cool. Um, First thing you want to do is make sure you have the key um, or conditions, if you want to call it that. So whenever a certain value appears, you want to change it to, you know, a certain value. You indicate that. So, for example, for us, we have apples, bananas, mangoes, cherries, and lemons. So this is the key that we want to use. I'm going to go ahead and put this here. For our case, I only have five examples. So apples, bananas, mangoes, cherries, and lemons. And I want to change those to Algerian apples, Mexican bananas, Mexican mangoes, Brazilian cherries, Canadian lemons. So that is our key. Um, next thing you want to do is open up Visual Basic, Alt F11 if you are on Windows. Um, you want to insert module and uh, there's this real nice code in here I'll put it in the description below for you uh, you're gonna copy that um, go to your visual basic paste it in there and you want to hit f5 on your keyboard and it'll ask you to select the original range and this is on your Excel, so this little body will always be on top of your window. So if you're on Excel or not, okay. So select your original range. This is all the data that you want to replace. Hit OK. Then the next one will, uh, will be the replacement range. Select that whole key. You want to hit OK. And just like that, the replacement is done. Pretty cool, huh? So for another example, um, say you had um, a listing of people with the kind of uh, languages they speak. Um, say you got this from a database and instead of the actual languages, you had numbers. So to put this in a document where people can understand, you want to have those numbers changed into the actual languages. So again, go ahead and prep your key. Um, so all the data that's on your document has the corresponding keys already set up. So whenever 18 appears, we want to change that to German. Whenever 4 appears, uh, we want to change that, and I think I'm wrong here. Whenever 10 appears, Javanese, 11 French, 18 Swahili, just for example. So again, Alt F11. Um, this time our code is already in there, so all we need to do is hit F5, and it'll ask us to select the original range. Um, on a peak, oops, on a peak, uh, all the data that you need to change. Uh, hit OK. Uh, replacement range, select the key that you already prepared and hit OK. So, right away, you can see how easy this is to uh, get done. All right, that's it for, for today. Uh, look out for more Excel tutorials. I will be looking at uh, cool tools. This is an extension for Excel um, that has very cool add-ons that you can add to your tools that you already have in your Excel. So that's on the next one. Uh, for now, please subscribe uh, to the channel. Uh, we'll be coming out with um, more exciting tutorials. I'll see you on the next one.